All right, we are recording. This is Tuesday, January 23rd, and this is our Sandbox meeting. That's correct. All right, welcome everybody. We've got 10 projects in our upcoming queue. I don't believe that we'll be able to make it through all of them in the next 29 minutes, but let's get started. Um, so the first application is connected to simple cross-language framework for the part of FRPC. Um, for building strongly typed APIs, they currently have implementations available in Go, TypeScript, Swift, and Kotlin. Um, was there any TOC member that reviewed this project and has any comments? I believe this one did get a recommendation um, from App Delivery um, for inclusion into CNCF. Any comments? Um, it's, a, it's an interesting one, this one, because it's, I mean, the, that list of languages is because it's targeted at a very different um, audience, I think. Um, and the examples that the, the only example they gave of things sim similar in the CNCF was um, GRPC and everything else they linked to was actually in Apache Fo Software Foundation. So I'm not I'm I know we had we had these various discussions with GRPC about is it really a cloud native thing? I I kind of asked the same question here. Is it is this a do we want this kind of thing? I, mean, I think as a project it looks fine, but it's clearly targeted at mobile and web developers to a large extent, and it doesn't have any usage in CNCF that I'm aware of. Nikita? Yeah, kind of similar thoughts. Um, like I'm missing the connection to cloud native here. Uh, and also I think Justin pointed out on the issue that some of the applications are still like Apache projects and not CNCF ones. Um, so app, tag, app delivery and tag network, both of them said that they would recommend uh, this project for Sandbox, but I think, but there is no guidance on why. So I think we could probably go back to the tags and ask why they think this would be a good fit and take it from there. Do we think that the, if the tags were to come back with a recommendation, because I'm kind of in agreement here, is that uh, very similar to GRPC and some of the conversations we had around that time that they had applied um, for moving levels, this project to me feels slightly outside of CNCF, but still supportive of a lot of that. Um, thinking back through open features, adapter interviews, uh, we had um, some mobile development challenges that they were experiencing, but there is that part of our end user and our adopter ecosystem that does mobile-based development. Um, so I'm wondering whether or not we should extend um, the project pool the way that we have with GRPC to include this one for cloud native or whether or not um, this doesn't really kind of fit. Uh, are there folks from app delivery here on the call that can provide additional uh, information around that recommendation for inclusion? Karina, I'm going to call on you. Sorry, trying to unmute. Um, so when they presented, so like Josh said, um, approved, but uh, what Justin's saying makes sense. I can't, um, yeah, and what Chris said. I, I would lean more towards approving for CNCF sandbox. Um, but we are having a lot of API discussions and we have an API call at on March 6th to have a whole hour talking about APIs and how they fit within tag app delivery and um, invite the other tags to participate in that. So it was an FYI. So TOC, um, do we want to send this back to the project? Or do we want to move this to a vote? And if we send it back to the project, we need to be very specific with them for what we're looking for or send it back to um, tag app delivery with a more specific recommendation for inclusion. I have a suggestion. Ricardo, go ahead. Yeah. Can, uh, so it seems like you, you don't know whether that fits in to cloud native or not, um, and it might fit into app delivery. So you could potentially say that you're working on changing or extending 
the scope of app delivery to include these kinds of projects? And maybe they can come back after that that definition is complete or that that change is done. But that's just a suggestion. But... I appreciate it. Unfortunately, tag app delivery is very overwhelmed with work. Karina? If there's not a rush on submitting this one, that's not a bad, I thought, um, because they could come participate in the API discussion. Um, and we could get more feedback from Tag Network. Okay. Do you see how would you like to proceed? Yeah, I'm not hearing a desire to vote on this either which means um, we need to have next steps. So since we don't have a desire to vote on this, um, what I'm going to recommend is the project engage with the API group um, and tag app delivery, understand a little bit more what, how this fits into cloud native um, and the value add that it has to the ecosystem um, and then provide additional uh, recommendation on this application so that we can bring it back to a vote after that API meeting. Does that sound something amenable to the TOC? See a thumbs up from Justin and Nikita. Okay. Um, is there a TOC member that would be willing to provide that comment back to the project and tag app delivery? Who are the liaisons for app delivery? I, I am. Justin, would you mind yeah. taking this on as your last act? Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Yeah. Thank you so much. And we will make sure that that's transitioned appropriately with a new seated TOC. Thank you. Okay, next up. Kairos, it's a meta Linux distribution um, to build immutable edge Kubernetes. Um, any TOC members review this project? Have any comments on it? Observations? I thought I recall reading that there was a recording on this from the tag. Ricardo, you had a comment. Yeah, I think it's ready for a vote. Okay. Um, one thing that was concerning to me that the list of maintainers has all maintainers from single company. Yep. We're going to expect them to increase the maintainer diversity for company affiliation, um, but it's not currently a requirement for sandbox inclusion. So fully noted, Nikita. Thank you. Yeah, I have gone through this project. Um, I think it's it's a very good feature because it allows you know very easy you know build and uh, deployment on the edge side. Um, um, the and the only thing is the project name is you know it's the same as the company's name. Is that okay? Uh, that will need to be a trademark discussion that the CNCF yeah. has. Yeah, we <clears throat> we usually hand that as part of like onboarding. So they could either change the name of the project or change the name of the company. So I'm, I'm okay. not I'm not concerned. Um, we generally fix it as part. Okay. All right. Do we have enough information to move this project to a vote? Hold on. Sorry. Just remind me. What did we What did we decide about accepting Linux projects? I don't know that we did. Because we yeah. I mean we because Microsoft was had um. What Black car. Think, uh, flat car and so and we didn't make a dis uh, my memory is we didn't make a decision and so we're just making a decision for these ones and not making a decision for flat car that's kind of weird flat car is actually uh going through uh due diligence right now because they applied as incubation correct okay but so we've decided the linux, linux projects are in i don't know that the toc has made an official decision on whether or not linux projects are included within r2 within the yeah. definition of cloud native so the question for this one is whether or not kairos as, as it exists here in the application if it meets the definition of cloud native and um, should be included within the cncf based off of the information presented in the application 
our decision to include it does not necessarily meet automatic acceptance for all Linux uh, projects into CNCF, nor does it mean that Flatcar will progress beyond incubation because that's, that's an independent project that we'll have to evaluate separately. But we do have resources allocated to performing the due diligence of it. Justin, you have a lot of it's hesitation. Very, it's very, it's very similar to flat car. I, I, I don't see that we would make yeah. a different decision from flat car. I mean, I was, I'm in favor of flat car. So, but I, I was, I think, I, I, I didn't get any feeling that we had a consensus on that. Okay. I was gonna say I have it in my notes that we covered this last year as well. We discussed also this issue regarding this project very briefly, and I think that's where um, we left the comments uh, asking for a review from Tag Runtime also in this aspect. Who provided the recommendation for inclusion further yeah. down? Exactly. But I think one of the concerns was 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 exactly that. Do we? take on distributions alike. That's a good question. TOC, is this a discussion that we would like to have outside of Kairos? We can place this uh, project's application on hold and just have a much broader conversation about Linux distributions inclusion within the cloud native landscape, or are we comfortable moving this one to a vote and levying that decision on a project by project basis? Given that we're already doing due diligence on Flatcar, I'm comfortable moving this forward. Okay. Others? I think it might be helpful for us to have a broader conversation and document that because we see this kind of projects coming to CNCF more and more, and we need to have some kind of alignment because we cannot evaluate it on every single project basis. It's, it's very expensive for us from a time perspective and resource perspective. So and another thing, if we accept to take Linux distributions, that means an expansion of the ownership area for tag up runtime. Uh, oh, sorry, tag runtime. So this is something that we need to align with the tag as well. So I think having a discussion, aligning on that will help us to move forward. Um, but I'm not sure. I, I think we can do this in, in parallel. Uh, it depends on what the opportunities think as well. Um, yeah. Okay. I think the discussion and voting can happen in parallel. Okay. Um, my only concern with them happening in parallel is if our discussion would uh, overturn a vote. Yeah, that, that might happen too. So we might have the discussion first and then decide on the project. Yep. Ricardo okay. and then Kathy. Yeah, one question, one comment about this project is that it's not a Linux distribution per se. This is a, a project that provides tooling to create distros. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, think, but it has the similar outcome for the user. I don't think it's, I mean, it's. We should check the recording. I think we had the exact same discussion last time. So don't miss it. Kathy? I think, sorry. Ricardo noted um, we should ver check that recording and make sure we have that available before we have that discussion. Kathy? Yeah, I'm just wondering, you know, um, whether we have any other parties that's similar, like it's kind of like related in, in Linux distribution, um, but we already approved either a sandbox or incubating. Yeah. We can certainly pull that together. I don't think there there are any, or if there are, it's very few, um, but we'll pull that into the discussion. So uh, let's move this along. So what we'll do, uh, Amy, is we'll place Cairo, uh, Kairos, on, Kairos on hold um, for a sandbox vote until the TOC meets and discusses um, how we wanna proceed with Linux distribution projects. Um, and we'll need to fit that into the TOC calendar. Sounds good. Okay, next up. Atlantis, this is the Terraform pull request automation project. It allows users to create PRs against a repository to run Terraform via command line comments. Um, there was some discussion around whether or not this should be included within OpenTofu, if I remember correctly. 
um, a little bit of back and forth. And it looks like we did get um, that discussion from Tag App Delivery as well from their meeting on December 6th. Was there a TUC member that has reviewed this project? Has any comments on this for inclusion into CNCF? Any concerns? I guess I'm still missing why this shouldn't be a subproject of open tofu. And uh, this like I feel like the scope is too narrow to warrant a sandbox project. But I'm willing to be convinced otherwise. Do have we started an engagement with open tofu? Do we know if that's a possibility? I, I do see that in the comments here, but I don't know what has been done since December when that comment was made to the PR if anything. I don't believe that. I can chase that down, Emily, if you want, just to try to get more information. Yeah, if you could chase that down. Um, I think my primary concern here, um, and I think we had this discussion previously, is projects needing to support more than just uh, vendor or commercial offerings. So I know we had a a project previously um, that came in like this, but since this is more about a licensing change, um, I'm not quite sure how we want to proceed. Katie? My comment here is the project seems, uh, as Nikita said, is like too narrow in scope and very specific to the PR lifecycle. My question is how this would evolve further down. It seems more of a plugin kind of situation rather than a separate project. I might be missing something, but this is like the scope I'm seeing. It's something that is more of a plugin and can be an add-on mm -hmm. um, based on what the the users or adopters will, would would like to use. Um, but I would be concerned from Sandbox where it's actually going to go further because I think this is like a good mature project. It delivers very specific features and I'm wondering what's next. So I'm not hearing that this project moves to a vote we would like them to engage open tofu and understand whether or not they are a better fit there um, if they do come back um, and they don't as karina says would if they would like to be a cncf sandbox project do we feel that the current state of the project which i think it's it's fairly young if i remember looking at the code base um would be worthwhile to consider for inclusion in the CNCF at that time, or should we wait until the project is more mature? It's not but, young. Okay, thanks, it's been Justin. Around since 2017. I must have been mixing it up with one of the yeah. later projects. Thank and you. They, they have like 360 individual contributors, if you look at yeah, so it's pretty large. Okay. I just, I agree with Katie. Yeah. I don't feel like it fits within what we would consider a project and where we have been very specific about notating plugins rather than projects. And so I, I can't, I guess, looking forward, I can't see where this would go to incubation under those, you know, specific parameters. And it's also, I always struggle when a mature project does come up for Sandbox as to why they're applying to Sandbox. And um, it seems like they would go directly into incubation if they're that mature and have that many contributors. It doesn't even seem appropriate. Okay. And if I they were to... the same... Go ahead. I had the same kind of question that Aaron did. And just in reading through their application, it effectively looks like the project was dormant for a while and they're worried it's going to happen again. And they think that acceptance into CNCF will give them a strong support structure to ensure that like, if, the, if you read that YCNCF section at the top, uh, it basically says that like it we need to ensure vitality of the project and that CNCF would provide a much needed support structure to ensure that. And I don't think that's really what we do with, C with sandbox projects. Like if this thing went dormant for years, like it says in the first sentence, we would have the conversation we had half an hour ago and vote to archive it. So it seems like what they really want is to join open tofu or some other like larger Terraform community. Okay, so do we want to put it to a vote for inclusion 
or do we want to recommend the project, engage open tofu, um, and then come back if they're not accepted so that we can make a vote then? Based off of this conversation, I'm not hearing that we're, we're likely to include them if they were to come back. Katie, you came off mute. Yeah, I think the discussion of uh, or the option of engaging them with open topo first and understanding if there is any potential collaboration there. Uh, if not, I would be interested to understand why, because it seems like more of a natural fit there. But if not, I, I would definitely, I wouldn't like to just kind of completely send them off. I would like to understand the conversation and the implication of them collaborating with open topo. If not, then I think that's going to be a different conversation on the TOC side as well. But I think we'll need to reevaluate it at that time. It's I think early to make a decision of not CNCF now. Okay. Are others in agreement? See some head nods? Okay. Um, so I need a TOC member to provide a comment back to the project um, with that sentiment that we would request that they go engage Open Tofu, understand whether or not they can be included as a project with underneath of Open Tofu. Um, or if they would like to reapply at a later date to CNCF that they support open tofu in addition to Terraform. There's someone willing to do that? I, I can take it to now. Yeah. Thank you so much, Ricardo. All right. We have seven minutes left. Do we think we can look at open LLM entry? See some smiles. We can start the discussion, maybe. All right. Open elementary uh, is observability, observability and evaluation of generative AI applications. Um, let's see here. They see this as an extension of open telemetry, um, and there was some discussions with tag observability um, going back and forth about whether or not this should be included. Um, why is it not engaging with um, open telemetry? Um, there seems to be some lack of clarity around limitations associated with the project. And I don't believe we got a recommendation. Alalita, walk uh, us through this. Yeah, yeah Emily. So um, they have engaged with uh, the tag um, and they have also presented uh, as a project. Now, there are some fundamental uh, concerns that, you know, both were raised from the uh, TAG uh, discussions as well as from open telemetry in general, uh, where they are, uh, they have three issues. One is that they have patches that they are carrying, uh, which do not comply with the spec of open telemetry and their semantic conventions, which they are um, changing and um, have not merged, right? Because they are not compatible with open telemetry. So the recommendation was to actually work in the project on the semantic conventions work group to ensure that uh, you know there is compatibility. The second part is that um, uh, it's a startup coming in with, you know, their idea of providing this framework, whereas it could be best suited within the open telemetry framework in order to, in, within the project itself, uh, to be able to actually maintain compatibility with observability um, guidelines and spec um, requirements, as well as with some of the licensing requirements that would need to be met. They have a proprietary product called Trace Loop. And um, again, uh, there are anomalies in what they are saying versus what you know they're doing on the project. So again, there's a lot of detail that was called out in the tag discussions that they need to address before proceeding ahead. Do you see members, any comments? Yeah, I, I tend to agree. I mean, I, I reviewed this and it was like, it seemed to be very, uh, a very early stage when there's, you know, already kind of open issues and discussion in the upstream project to 
I mean, it's fine to fork something as an experiment, but to fork as an experiment, say you want to bring it into CNCF as a new project when there's no consensus yet about how to do these yeah. types of things. It's, yep. It just seems like as a fork outside CNCF, that's as a discussion point and iteration, that seems fine, but bringing it in at this point seems just the wrong time. Yeah, I agree with Justin. So it sounds to me, just based off of that discussion thus far, that we are not moving to a vote on this project, that, that we um, would invite them to return after they've resolved the open comments and changes that have been uh, noted by tag observability. Is that correct? Yeah, I think, I think, yeah, I, I'm not sure, but I mean, I think that it's maybe just waiting until there's more consensus about how to do this generally. I mean, like, I'm not sure that just, you know, I, I would give it six months rather than when the comments are resolved or something at least. I agree like because I think it's it's both as Justin is pointing out maturity of uh, some of the techniques and best practices in this area of uh, LLM observability and also at the same time just incompatibility with large existing specs in observability in the CNCF land. Okay, makes sense. Uh, Ricardo, your hand is up. Yeah, sorry, I just clicked the wrong button there. Well, one thing that I would say is that a lot of people are looking for projects like that, uh, uh, this one uh, specifically, and it's not necessarily super easy to find them. So there is a comment in the thread that says to engage also with the AI uh, working group. Yep. Uh, I think that's a good idea because there will yep. be a lot of end users listening as well and probably other projects trying to focus on the same. So maybe people just join forces. So maybe recommend also uh, reinforce the comment there to, to engage with uh, the work group. Okay. Um, so we're going to invite them to reapply in six months. Um, as part of that reapplication, we would like to see them engage with the AIML working group. Um, we would like to have them uh, resolve the outstanding uh, comments and observations that tag observability provided them for work that still needs to be done. Is that correct? Did I get them all right? Yes. Yep. Okay. Yes. All right. I can add this as a comment on the issue for the project, and this one will um, we'll see them again in six months. Sound good? Thank you. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's all we have time for today. Uh, any last minute questions, observations, opinions before we close Is out? That the only sandbox meeting we've ever had where we haven't let in a project. <laughs> Probably. But I think we had a good discussion and the TOC has plenty of decisions that we need to be making um, for how we review projects moving forward and for their inclusion in CNCF. All right, well, last thank bit. You. Thank you very much to our outgoing TOC members. Sorry, Emily, back to you. <laughs> you, beat, you beat me to it. I was going to say thank you so much to our outgoing TOC members. We appreciate your service and we hope to see you back again in the cloud native ecosystem. All right. Thanks, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Take care, everyone.